Thank you, Howard. And he said, let's get on with the demo. Um, we're going to do something a little different than we've usually done. Instead of showing you a videotape, which we'll do later on, we'd like to give you a feeling of what it's like when people are actually playing. So we're going to do a live demo. And for this demo, I'd like to invite up Henry Stricci and Isaac Marshall. From, they're also from the Treehouse. I'm going to have them actually sit up on the edge of the stage here, and they'll be playing from this monitor over here. It's a little easier than twisting their necks to see what's going on over there. I think the obvious choice is to start out with a demo of Super Mario 64. You may notice these cartridges are a little large. These are actually, of course, prototype cartridges. The final cartridge is approximately just under half the size of this. It's actually significantly smaller than the Super NES cartridge. Anyway, without further ado, it's me, Mario! The way the game is structured, it's actually all focused around this castle. You'll be doing levels that are hidden within the castle, underneath the castle, up in the castle, up in the sky, etc., etc. The way you move from level to level, actually, is by gathering stars. You notice on the top right of the screen, you see a stars and nine. That means we've already located nine of the 100 stars in this level. One of the coolest things about the N64, though, is actually the controller. By slightly pressing up on the control stick, Mario will begin to tiptoe. By pressing up further, it will begin to creep. Still further, it'll walk, and jog, and sprint. This will also give you a <laughs> 60 degree control, which you can see is quite fine. While you're watching these demos, I'd like you to notice how incredibly crisp and clean the graphics are. I'm sure for years you've been hearing things like try the area map interpolation and perspective correct textures and real-time anti-aliasing. But the bottom line is, the image is crisp, super clean. <laughs> As you notice, Mario did a kind of a cool move there. I like knowing some of the moves now. Being a Mario game, Mario has a lot of moves. So let's see what Mario can do. Go out the door, lo and behold, 
you're in the moat, and now the moat is drained. Again, an average player probably would have gone to swim in the moat when they first started playing. So that's kind of cool. They would have seen the door, and they would have seen this hole. They wouldn't be able to open the door because they're underwater. They wouldn't have been able to go down the hole because there's a water turn. Now they have to see this. This is really cool. This is a very strong example of how we can like look into the distance.